What is up guys and welcome to my second video here on my channel. I got a lot of positive response from my first video, uh, but I could see like 90% that watched the video didn't subscribe. So please, if you're watching the video, if you liked it, if you're a fantasy player, if you're an Angel TV user just like me, help your friend here. Okay. Now with that said, we're going to talk Intel Extreme Masters cologne and first off i'm going to talk a little bit of my predictions here first of all i just want to say i freaking hate best of ones in uh, fantasy and that is because all of uh, all of the upsets in the best of three it's much easier to predict who's gonna win but in the best of ones there are much easier for people to upset so First of all, we're going to go through Mouse versus the Mongols here. They got Mouse got Jim Pat, which which has been an incredible prospect for a long time. I think it was great they po uh, brought him up to the team, and they got Shu Hu here, which has uh, proved himself as a great in-game leader. So I think Mouse will do great, and I definitely think they will beat Mongols, even though it's the best one. The Mongols shouldn't be able to beat Mouse. Not uh, when adding 910 and Mezinho, which I looked up and they haven't played a lot of official matches. So, easy win here for Maus. Into the Breach versus the Ninjas, who just qualified for Blast Finals. Into the Breach have played some officials, but haven't had so much success. I'm easily going with the Ninjas here. Fnatic versus Complexity. I will... I think this is a, like a 50-50 because Fnatic got a new lineup with Afro and Dexter. Complexity have played some matches but hasn't looked so good with the new bald leash. Maybe he will kick in that bald buff later on but not right now. So this is like a 50-50. OG, like the budget version of Face. I don't know what to say more than that. I don't think OG will have great results uh, uh, this the rest of the year regali is a great prospect but these other players are like the second or third players of the team they came from the fourth maybe even fourth play like fiku so and also nine have played some officials after the summer break and i believe they have won every single one of them um yeah you can see so I believe nine is coming in with a great momentum within this tournament they want to win really bad they will do great they will win versus og opex versus big big have struggled with their new lineup and also here they don't got mantu they got sensei instead which makes it even worse for them and opex had a really good time before the summer break now they got kakanito instead of jl maybe a little downgrade i don't know kakanito is still a uh, pretty pleasant player. I've watched him a little bit. He's uh, pretty good in, in the tier 2 scene. So I think Opex got the win. Going down to Astralis and Liquid. Uh, Astralis didn't so good in Blast. But uh, they are a team that could upset. They could upset Liquid. They could upset if any of these two that uh, go to this stage here. So, But liquid they did great in blast they defeated both face and g2 which are not bad teams at all even though they got a new lineup so i give this win to liquid monte versus imperial the fast answer is i think monte will win over imperial monte did very well before the summer break imperial has played a lot of against Brazilian teams and had some success, but against European teams and uh, the other tier one teams, I don't think they got uh, enough of firepower to take the win here. And last but not least, we got Greyhound versus Furia, and I think Furia will take this home. Greyhound is like they join so many tier one tournaments, but they don't go very far. And that is because they qualify through the Oce Oceania qualifier, whatever it's called. So they are the team from Australia, but they then they face someone from Europe and they lose. And Furia, they got 
fallen now and Shellos are fallen will most probably in game lead and Art can focus on his insane entry fragging. He hasn't done so well before the summer break but I think he will do better now and can focus on his role. So yeah with that said I'm going into the fantasy tab. And before going into the fantasy I just want to say that I got a comment on my first video that asked how will you keep your team as a secret so people don't copy it and the answer is I will be a little bit secret about it but not fully and that is where uh, because I will show you three possible teams I will choose but I won't say which one everyone every team that I will show you now is teams that I'm considering and I will tell you why so the first one we got here is two player from mouse which i think everyone should take i think they had have the easiest uh, way uh, opening match frozen extremely good uh, against tier one opponents even better against weaker teams torshi cheapest player on mouse have a bit to prove but uh, i think we'll do great with the main op role here Furia, as I said, I think they will win against Greyhound, so that's why I had enough money to pick Yuri here, so with the lead run on him. Could also do the booster here, actually, because I, I think they will win versus Greyhound, so double up on the booster. Or maybe actually double up on a mouse player. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. And uh, Camper on Fallen, pretty good on Camper on him because he's surviving so much and uh, I couldn't go up on him because it's on Torshi. And also I think Nine will do pretty decent. Uh, I think they will, I think they will win over OG, but if they don't, I think they could win their second match. Minio is like, not, of course not the greatest player, but you got to have a budget player sometimes. With a new brawl, if he does bad, it will be a little bit um, he will give you a little bit of points back so that this is the first team i'm considering the second team is still two from mouse but only one from Fu furia and instead from one from furia we go one with liquid and that is nav uh, he has done incredible well now in liquid at, at blast average 120 rating i think goes well with the support role and instead of Minio, upgrade him to K, Key, I don't know how to say it. One of the best fraggers on that team. And one of the most picked players here is Art on this event. And I understand why he's cheap and he's really good with the entry fragger role and he's on Furia. And oops, and the third team going with the risky mouse player Jim Pat who, who has done incredible been in, an insane prospect for a long time will most probably drop down in rating versus better teams like everyone does but could do pretty good like I would say maybe like in the same rating wise like Xerxion who is also a really stable player on mouse great with the entry frag role Fallen here again leader on Yuri and noob on Minio some people actually don't like the new role, but I like it because it's like some kind of insurance. If the, I mean, if the team does good, it doesn't do that much if he get minus two on his role because he will give you positive anyway if the team does good. So, but if the team does bad, he will give you more back. Or the team, I mean, if he, if he the player does bad, he will give you more points back. So. But also I will go into and show you a little bit fast how I'm thinking here. I know I, I had one lineup with Liquid, but I'm not really sure about them. They're really expensive. They also added a lot of money on Patsy. On Blast he was ridiculously low. I consider him, but I didn't get him. Also, I can see that a lot of you guys choose Yekinder. And I don't like it. Don't choose Yekinder. And that is why he is the in-game leader now for Liquid. And his rating is starting to drop. He won't be able to focus on his aim, fragging and that stuff anymore. I won't pick Yakinda for this price. 
and you shouldn't either. OPEX, if you believe in their momentum, sure, you could go with a player like a cheap player like Stiku screw the Aegis role, but I won't go with OPEX. Two from us, pick two from us, trust me. Monty, SDY, expensive, bro, I don't think he got enough experience, War 2K, expensive. If I went with a Monty player, it would most likely be DMQ. He has proved himself a lot before the summer break. Kasnal, what are you looking at? Let's keep him like that. I don't want him looking at me. Okay, Hampus now is now a better price uh, on him, like a more fair price, but still actually a little bit too low, I think. Because he got like the same rating as Ro uh, Bro uh, Brolan here and almost like Res, and he's still very cheap. He's done uh, pretty okay in Blast, not the best, but as for 186, he's pretty okay. So if you consider one from Nip, I would go with, uh, for him as uh, my budget player. Fnatic, they got Dexter. I mean, they could have a different approach now as a team with a new in game leader. So. I don't know how they will play and therefore I won't pick them. But Roy is pretty tempting, he's cheap, he used to be a gold player before. Don't Furia, uh, Shello, I don't uh, know really how he will play in Furia. So considering Fallen, great with the op roll and his price tag, or art budget player, good with the entry roll. Yuri, if you want someone better and you could actually, I tried to make a team with Keserato. He's like the most consistent and stable player for Furia, but um, I'm not sure. Maybe I will change <laughs> because I changed my team like a billion times before the tournament goes live. So I will maybe try to do one team with Keserato. We'll see. Imperial, I won't pick anyone from Imperial. Pretty expensive, both Vini, Yuta and Henny. Phelps is just, I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't frag anything. And Bolts, uh, no. Maybe Bolts then. No, 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 no. Don't pick anyone from Imperial. They will not go far. Astralis, I mean, if you look at these players, I mean, they got the buys, they got Blame F and, and pretty decent other players. So they could easily upset Liquid. They could do that. And that is why I won't pick anyone from Liquid, ex especially when they're so expensive. Coming down to nine, I think they got uh, a pretty, they're like the, not the dark horse, but we know who they are. And they did great before the summer break. Minio is obviously the best budget to pick, but you can also pick Kyler. He's okay. Ball de Lige. I mean, his price is tempting. They are the second North American team after Liquid. Maybe Liquid isn't North American anymore. I don't know what people are saying, but maybe in some time they can be good, but not right now. Into the Breach could upset uh, NIP, but I don't think they will. NIP is coming in with momentum from going in first place in their groups at Blast. Greyhound, the Australians, it feels like they're like yeah, they're just coming into these better, higher tier tournaments and don't have a great chance of qualifying further. That is why I give the win to Fury versus them and I won't pick anyone from Greyhound. The Mongols, they got Mzinu and 910 and I watched their uh, Age of TV page. They doesn't got any, not a lot of official matches. So I think they're not experienced and they will have a hard time against players like uh, from mouse because mouse got extremely much fire pyro right now big not even playing with mantu so i wouldn't consider big and og the budget face no i won't pick anyone from there so yeah i've uh, gone through the fantasy at iem cologne and uh, that is how i'm thinking and if there is anything you would like me to answer, just write down in the comment. You can DM me on Twitter. And thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me, guys. Bye.